Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. Today I'm going to be doing a chatting video, not a yoga class, because I haven't done one of these in a while and I have something important to share with you, along with a little uh, few tidbits of information that I think you would find helpful. Just in case you haven't noticed, things have changed. I'm in a new place. I showed people on Instagram my new setup. I didn't get like rave reviews, so if you don't like it, I apologize, but I mean, I think it's pretty remarkable to even have a free wall in a New York City apartment. It's just the way it has to be. <laughs> Sorry. Gets the job done, so I hope that uh, you still enjoy the yoga classes that I will film here. Anyway, this is my new space. I moved. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five daily habits that I never miss. Daily habits that help to have a more productive, healthy, overall better day. These are things that I personally have been doing regularly. Things have changed in my life a lot, so I wanted to start to add some habitual routine back into life, and these are the things that I have been adding and enjoying very much. So if you're interested in learning about these habits, then definitely stay tuned. Also, stay till the end of the video because I will be sharing something exciting happening right here on this YouTube channel channel starting September 1st and I think you will want to hear about it so don't leave. Stay here so you can learn what it is. Before we get started, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below the video along with the notification bell. It will tell you every time I post a new yoga class. It can act as a reminder to do your yoga. Do your yoga today, you know? It's a great reminder. And you'll also want to join us. I would love to have you join us here in this awesome community of Kriska Yogis. That could be your nickname. Ugh. Anyway, let's get into the five daily habits that I do not ever miss. Number one, I wake up and I drink water. That's the first thing that I do when I wake up. I wake up and I walk straight to the kitchen and I pour myself a glass of cold water. Plain cold water water. Why cold water? Well, for one, I have acid reflux, so the cold water helps me to feel a little less um, acidy, I guess, in the morning. Maybe that's too much information for you, I'm sorry. Yeah, some people say cold water isn't the best for your skin. I have heard that drinking a glass of room temperature water when you first wake up in the morning is the best thing to do for your skin, so if you have skin concerns, that might be something you would want to do instead. But for me, for my personal needs, cold water every morning is exactly what is the perfect thing to wake me up, get my body going, get everything flowing and moving, and I never miss it because it's the best. The next thing is a more recent habit that I've been doing. It's something from, I think the book is called The Artist's Way. I've never read it personally, but it is a very, very famous activity from this book that a lot of people, especially here on YouTube, suggest. So I started to take it on into my own life. It's called Morning Pages. It's basically just stream of consciousness journaling for three straight pages. Sometimes I don't quite make it to three pages. Maybe I would if I read the book and learned more about it, but I've just been doing two to three pages of just stream of consciousness consciousness, oh, that's hard to say, stream of consciousness journaling. So just whatever comes to my head, writing it down, getting all of those thoughts and worries and whatever out onto the paper. And I find it very helpful because it helps me to just get rid of it and then move on with my day. Along with that, I've been trying to write three things that I'm grateful for every day and then three wins. So three things that I feel like I should celebrate, something that I did well, something good that happened just so so that I can start the day off with a little positivity as well, because that's always good. The third daily habit that I never miss is caffeine and vitamins. Caffeine, sometimes, very rarely I miss it, but I do find that a little bit of caffeine, whether it's in coffee or matcha tea, matcha green tea, or this like vitamin drink that I have sometimes that also has caffeine, it's energy and vitamins. As long as I'm having both of those things, so the vitamins specifically I like to take are vitamin C, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. Vitamin B12 is something that vegetarians and vegans often take. They're, I guess, lacking in plant, plant food 
foods unless it's fortified. I also found that I personally was a little deficient in vitamin D, so I started taking that as well after I went to the doctor and she told me to. I mean, it is common for uh, vegans and vegetarians to be deficient in those things, but it's also common for just everyone in general to be deficient in B12 and D, so you might want to check on that to see if you too are, might have a deficiency in those particular vitamins and they are very important. So um, yeah, I make sure that I take them every day. The fourth daily habit that I never miss is listening to either a podcast or a uh, I guess motivational YouTube video or an audiobook. So listening to something that's going to get me going. I like to personally listen to things that are going to help me be more productive, things that are going to help me um, live a more productive and um, happier life, things that are going to lift me up and help me to have a more positive day. And finally, the fifth daily habit that I never miss is moving my body. So whether it's a yoga sequence, whether I'm filming or practicing on my own, or just taking a walk, even getting away from the computer and just moving. Something that I've been incorporating that I hadn't before <laughs> some days previously, I basically would just sit all day. It's just not good for you. Getting up and moving is just so important for your mental health, for your physical health. Yeah, it's just, you have to do it no matter what, every single day. So that's it. Those are the five daily habits that I've been incorporating into my daily routine. A sixth kind of bonus habit is um, mindful moments, meditation, or moments of silence. I think also that is something that's really important to incorporate in your daily life, if not very frequently in your life, just to help you to like be a bit more sane. Meditation, obviously I'm a yoga instructor, so I'm a big advocate of meditation. It definitely helps with mental health anxiety and just calming down so that's just a bonus thing that I'm gonna throw in there it's not one of the five tips but it's like a bonus extra little thing so yeah I really hope you found those helpful now on to the announcement do you want to do yoga every day well guess what I will be doing yoga on this channel every single day for the month of September that's right I will be doing a 30-day yoga reset challenge so basically it's like pushing the reset button on your life for the next 30 days for the entire 30 days of september we will be focusing on mind body and spirit in that order so we'll be doing the first 10 days we'll be focusing on the mind the next 10 days we'll be focusing on the body and the final 10 days we'll be focusing on the spirit or the soul or whatever you want to call it and it'll just be an overall experience and a journey and I think it will be something that is a really great way to kick off the final quarter of the year and perhaps you're going back to school, perhaps you are going back to work, whatever you're doing. I feel like for everyone, even if you're not going back to school, September is just a way and you're starting kind of a new season. It's just a way to start fresh for this last little leg of the year. So I figured why wait till January? Let's do 30 days of yoga together here on this channel. So be sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on. It'll be a great way to remind yourself to do yoga with me every day if you'd like to participate in this challenge with me. I'll be doing it as well. Yeah, and I hope you're excited because I'm excited for the uh, this challenge. It will be a challenge, that's for sure. So <laughs> I hope that you are excited. Also, I'll be offering the entire 30 days, so all 30 classes, on my membership site called My Yoga Habit, where you can get the entire 30 classes right away. They won't have any introductions like, like this. You won't be seeing me talking. It'll just be the yoga class. They'll also be completely free of YouTube ads, so it's basically just, here's free yoga for you to practice. You can use the app that comes along with the membership site and basically download them into your queue and watch it without even needing an internet connection, which I think is awesome on any device, your phone, your tablet, your TV. Yeah, it's awesome. And I'll be offering for the entire month of September a 30-day free trial. So basically you can do that with me on the membership site 
for free, which um, is an awesome deal. Like, who else does that, really? I mean, maybe some people have. I'm sure they have. Anyway, I think it's a good deal. Along with that, you'll get all the other content that I've been posting throughout the year on the membership site that's already there. Guided meditation, full-length classes, access to all my previous live streams, and then upcoming live streams that I'll be doing with the members throughout the month. Access to that community and the forum in that community. It's just a lot of value for basically free for the entire month. And then if you choose to stay on for after that month, or you, you can leave, whatever. But if you choose to stay, if you enjoy it and choose to stay, it's much cheaper than the membership of a yoga studio and much cheaper than even the membership of a gym. And it's just a great way to be a part of a yoga community and practice in your own home, which having a home practice is life changing. So I highly suggest you practice this challenge with me in that way. It's just something really great that I'm excited to offer you along with the 30 days here on YouTube. Really hope you join us over there as well. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So yeah, that's all that I uh, have to say. <laughs> There's one more video coming up on Wednesday before we kick off the challenge on September 1st. What's the video on Wednesday? The Beginner's Vinyasa Flow. 20 minute vin Beginner's Vinyasa Flow. So yeah, get excited for that too. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll see you on September 1st for 30 days. <laughs> that's a lot of yoga classes. That's a lot of yoga videos. To be honest, I'm a little scared, but it's gonna be great. It'll be a challenge for everybody. But what is what is life without challenge? Boring. That's what it is. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Leave me a comment below letting me know of any daily habits that you have that other people or myself might find helpful and might want to incorporate into our own lives. Share with us, enrich our community. Feedback and your comments and just hearing from you always makes my day. So please leave a comment below the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Join the community. It is free to subscribe here on YouTube and I would love to have you as a part of this community. We just hit 16,000 subscribers. What? Uh, that's a big number. Maybe not for some. There's people with millions and millions and millions of subscribers. I know, and I'm like the little ant on the spectrum of YouTube, but for me, the little ant, 16,000 people is a lot of people, so <laughs> join us, all 16,000 of us. And don't forget to check out my website, chriskayoga.com, and follow me over on Instagram as well, at chriskayoga. I'm back on Instagram, posting regularly, yoga motivation and inspiration, and behind the scenes of this channel, tons and tons of stuff over there. All the links to everything that I mentioned and more are listed in the description box below. Thank you so much. See you next time.